Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Chris here from Finland Mennonite Church. It's time for another midweek musing, this time where we just slow down and remind ourselves of one truth from the previous week's sermon and the scriptures we were in. And this past week, we saw how the earliest followers of Jesus, when they were given the, the power of the Holy Spirit and, and filled with the Holy Spirit, they were on fire, right? To tell others about Jesus, that he rose from the dead, that new life is available in him. And, and it had me kind of thinking, it had me kind of musing, this idea of being on fire. Now, some of you, maybe your skin has felt like it's been on fire recently. Uh, I don't have it anymore, but I had a horrible amount of poison ivy on my forearm. And, you know, then it was spreading to other parts. And what started as one little dot just kind of went everywhere. And so I was putting on calamine lotion and different things, trying to care for it, and nothing was really taking care of it. It still itched, it still bothered me, it was still growing, it was still spreading. Then, then someone told me about this. Now this might look like just a normal bar of soap to you, but it's not. In fact, it's homemade lye soap. And I discovered this while I was out hiking in uh, the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. And they told me that lye soap is what people use, the old timers, uh, swear by it that it, in fact, is the best remedy to poison ivy. And I was a little skeptical at first. And in fact, it took, <laughs> it took my oldest daughter and my wife to be like, Dad, just try it. What, what, what possibly, what the worst thing that could happen? And so I did. And that night, what they said to do is you, you cut off this slab, a little tiny slab. You, you make the area, you have poison ivy, very wet. And then you take your soap and you just rub it like this. And you make this nice lather and it gets all white. And then you let that dry. And I got to tell you, the very next day, the itching stopped, and the second day, all of my poison ivy was completely dried up. Now, it was still kind of bumpy and, and all that, but it was, it was dry, it wasn't itching, it wasn't spreading. And I was like, lie, soap, where have you been my whole life? So some of you, maybe the best thing you're going to hear on the Midweek Musings today is, is this lye soap, and you're gonna get some because you probably have poison ivy on you somewhere. So use lye soap, it is amazing. But as I was thinking about that, it had me think back to, oh man, I'm on fire to tell people about lye soap with their poison ivy. Am I equally on fire to tell people about their creator, about how much our creator loves us, that he would come in the flesh himself, that he would go to the cross for our sins, that he would go to the grave in our place only to raise from the grave, to resurrect and to offer new life in and through him. Only am I as equally on fire to tell people about that amazingly good news. And so that's my encouragement and my challenge to, to me and to you as we finish out this week is let's go boldly, let's go excitedly, let's go declaring in all the goodness of this amazing good news that we have about Jesus in the places we live, work, go to school, and play. And let's declare this good news to others so that we too will be said to be on fire for, for this Lord and Savior and King that we call Jesus, right? And then let's just keep telling about what God does as we do these things, right? So enjoy the rest of your week. Be blessed. Go and tell about Jesus and then tell others what God does as you do. Have a blessed rest of your week.